I'm Tom Bermardi. I'm the coach of uh, Chinese Taipei Badminton uh, team, national team. And uh, my best result as a player is a uh, runners up at the World Championship in 1999 in Copenhagen. So, Fong, uh, I got a question. What. Uh when you when you were runner up in the world championship, who did you beat to to get there? Uh, in the semifinal, I play against uh, Peter Kedel, Kristensen, of Denmark. In the, in the time, I myself didn't expect to go so far. <laughs> okay, what was the score in the match? The score of the match, I think, uh, third third set is uh, seventeen sixteen. Actually, I think it was fifteen fourteen, wasn't it? No, it's uh, played until 17. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, in the final, who did you lose to? Uh, in the final, I lost to Sun Jun. Okay, do you think uh, do you think Sun Jun is the best player you've ever seen? Uh, I think there are a lot of the uh, best players in this badminton. I mean, back, back in time, and, uh, last time I, I saw Yang Yang, Cao Qian Hua, uh, and then... So mm -hmm. Did you ever Jian. play those ones? Uh, I only play against uh, Yang Yang, Cao Jian Hua at the time, but at the second year I haven't played. Okay, what, was, what is the level difference between Yang Yang, Zhao Jinhua, yeah. and later on Harry Anto Arby, uh, Ardi Wernada, and even later you played against uh, Peter Rasmussen, Paul Eric Horner, Peter Gate. What, what do you think was the levels? Uh, were they the same or were the later players better? Or? I think uh, it's, uh, you, you have to say it globally, I mean, uh, with the atmosphere of the, the badminton. Uh, the last time, long time ago, it's only uh, maybe China, Indonesia, and the Asian country, they, only, they, have a, they have a normal training center, they, have a, they practice every day, the whole year, and uh, not for the European or American at the time. But right now you have to see that every every country have uh, some uh, training center and have a uh, have a certain have a standard standard everyday day to day basis training. So the standard also the other other country of uh, standard also raising up, and then uh, all the big countries is still at still using the same methods. So they are. They are still stand there, and then all the other countries are improving. So, do you think the other smaller countries, like Taiwan, like Canada, like America, like some small Europe, do you think they will catch up to Indonesia and China one day? Uh, yes, that's uh, all we hope so. But, uh, but I think the the sign is going going to that direction. Okay. What well, uh, you went? You were originally playing in Indonesia, right? Yes. And uh, what were you ranked in Indonesia at the time you moved? At the time, uh, my rank is uh, about six in the main singles. Who was playing at the time in Indonesia when you moved? Uh, my, uh, at the time, it's uh, Alan Budikusuma, Hermawan Susanto, Joko Subrianto, Adi Uranaka, Arianto Arbi, Bambang Subrianto. What about the young ones, uh, Marliv and Budi Santoso? They are. They, they were catching up at the time. Oh yeah. Do you think that group of Indonesians is the best group that ever played? Uh, I don't think so. But before that, before our time, maybe the Chinese group, Yang Yang, Zhao Jianhua, and some other spray players who, who didn't uh, play internationally, they are I think the best group. Who is the best player you've ever played against? Best player. You played against, yeah. You mentioned some big names there. Which one's the best one? Um, the best one, I think, is uh, Modern Frost. Oh, really? Interesting. Who was the fittest you ever? Because you, you were known to uh, be very, very fit on court, running a lot of people into the ground. Who was the, the fittest you ever played against? The fittest? I think Sun Jun is, uh, Sun Jun is uh, most most surviving players, I mean. Yeah. Do you think yeah. even more than Artie, for example? Uh, I think they are about the same quality of them. Okay. What, uh, as a player, what was your biggest weapon, do you think? Like, uh, your biggest force? My biggest force is, uh, I think, my 
mental side. Of the okay, what was so good? You think you're very smart, or you didn't get nervous, or, or what part of the mental? No, I have. A, I think I have a hard, hard to die attitude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about? Uh, let's see. Let's see what else you, do you think that's probably the most important thing to, to being a good singles player? Is the attitude? Is the mental part? Yes, for me, that's uh, of yes. course. Of course, for me, sir. but uh, for other players, maybe the uh, you can say because uh, I have uh, not so good talent. Uh -huh. My talent is not good, and my my body is uh, quite not, not fit enough. I think from from the, from the, from the young age. So uh, for other person, maybe they have a different different view. So if I if I came up to you and said, Fung, I want to be best in the world, I want to be a really good singles player, uh, what would you tell me? What, what piece of advice would you give me? Yeah, I think you have to, uh, to fix up and uh, you have to set your goal first because uh, it, uh, as you see, it is uh, the resource of, of, of all. Because uh, if you have a goal and then you have a good mental attitude, so you can, as a coach, I can coach you with the mental side, the skillful skill side, physical side, easily without no handicap. So was it your goal then? Did, did you at one point in your career did you say to yourself, "I'm going to make it to the world final"? Was that one of your goals? Or yeah, did it exceed from, your goal? From, from my children, from oh. my childhood days. What uh, <coughs> is it true that you had the best footwork ever? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Who has the, who, who do you, whose footwork do you admire? Li Chung Wei. Li Chung Wei, okay, okay. Um, wait, I had another good. How many languages do you speak? Uh, I speak uh, Indonesian, Mandarin, English, and uh, a little bit of uh, dialects, a little bit of Korean. Okay. Um, who who on the tour do you think has the hardest smash? Hardest smash? Yeah. Hardest smash. Well, you can name a couple of players if you want. Simon Archer. Simon Archer. Kim Dong Moon. Actually, uh, you, you actually got your best results when you were quite old. Is that, is that right? Like compared to... Uh, I mean, the one year you, you made the world final. Then you made, uh, before that you won Japan and Korea? Korea, Taiwan. Korea, Taiwan. Switzerland. All in one year, right? Yes. And how old were you that year? 32. 32, okay. How come, uh, that, that was back then, that was very uncommon. Yes. Uh, how were you able to do that at, at, at such a late age, when people probably said you were too old? I think uh, that, that question is back to our self-discipline. Because uh, for me, for me, uh, to become a seed, you have to prepare yourself uh, very good, and then you, you meet the chance. So that, that's the point when you are succeed. Do you think Morton Frost was better than Peter Gate? Uh, Would he have beaten Peter Gate? You you cannot you cannot say it that way. Okay. I mean, uh, They're they too have, far apart, right? They have their own strong point and they have uh, their own weak points. But uh, overall. Overall, I think Modern Cross is the best player. Yeah. Who, who do you think is the uh, best Chinese player ever to be produced? Best Chinese player, I think Cao Jun. Nice.